So hot! Oh, oh no, there are flames everywhere! You better not touch them! Don't go and burn yourself, Link! That's kind of obvious there. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's carefully navigate our way through the flames, and of course there's a fire bar. <laughs> It's got always got to be a fire bar. It's mandatory in a Nintendo game to have a fire bar. All right, let's hop the gaps across the lava and see what. Uh, don't make haste. Take note of the one the safe path. So let me just try and doodle ourselves the path of destiny. And go around there, and that looks accurate enough. <laughs> All right. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Let's make note of it. Go ahead, copy that path already on your map, in case you need it later. So yeah, that's exactly where I need the path, is that spot that I drew it across. It's easily matching on the map. Oh, crap, it's a trap! Man, what the heck is going on with these places? It's keys! Keys everywhere! And they're out for my blood! Actually, I want this too. <laughs> hey you, hey you, yes you, there we go. <laughs> Woo! Happy days! And that also extinguishes the fire for some reason. I don't know. I guess they're tied to life energy or something, and I could sense it. But anyway, we get a key in here, which means that we can open that door that we passed through or passed by when we uh, jumped over the lava. So let's go hop as the daisy and tap. And we're in. Oh yeah. And now, watch us, watch us. This is safe, but, but, but. Yeah, it's got those sneaky trap doors. You can actually get through this without actually um, using your map, because if you walk carefully, you can tell, yeah, they just automatically open when you get close enough. So the thing about this is that you don't want to run through it, because, yeah, otherwise you'll be in all sorts of ire, and I don't think you want that. <laughs> hmm, what is this? Let's hit these individually. Oh, no, wait. Oh, these sound like time switches. What should we do to hit them all at the same time? Oh, I tried to do a spin attack here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that opens the door all the way back there, which means we've got to retrace our steps from the trap doors of doom, which are now open, and I no longer have to go through again. So, wee. <laughs> And now, uh, with the, oh, I guess I can sneak through here. I was gonna say follow the direction of the fire bar, but I can just do that it's a little bit faster. And these blocks look pretty familiar. These blocks look very familiar, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 no you don't. You're not gonna electrify yourself. So let's hit the switch and oh, they switch. So that's those blocks. Yes, those blocks. I don't know what they're called, but they're like switch blocks or something like that. <laughs> And boop! Yeah, you aren't gonna electrify me today. Oh no, you are not. And I'm gonna go. Oh no! What's with all the traps? Oh no! Oh no, you don't! Stop that! Stop it! No! Get off me! You're messing up my shirt! Yeah! My shirt should not be staying. Okay. Whew! Whew! Oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good, everything's clean, and that, uh, well, that fire is still not open, that's weird. Oh, I got the boomerang! Well, maybe there's something that I could do to open the fire there, then. The boomerang, know how to throw it? First tap the item icon to equip the boomerang. It's already equipped, really. Then just draw a line, then it'll follow the flight path straight to your curry. Just give it a try. Throw it around the stream to get the hang of it. Well, I already have the hang of it, really, so I'm just gonna go over here and, uh... Yeah, just tap this, and I'm gonna hit this. Look at this, you can even grab stuff if you would like to. Oh, I can grab that heart, and I can also tap that to hit the switch. You can watch they slide and tap to hit the switch. And there we go. Also, as a little shortcut, which you might want to do with it's easier, is hold the L button. That'll automatically pop open. Yeah, see that? I don't have to touch it at all. That's probably more convenient than actually touching the icon on the, that side of the screen. But it's up to you, whatever you feel comfortable with. It's just hand teamwork that I'm thinking of. Wait, that tinkly sound. That certainly sounds familiar. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. I was not paying attention to the fire. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. So you got some torches flaring their flames. I'm just gonna kind of go, oh! You are giving me all sorts of fire here, aren't you, torches? So I gotta do this a little quicker. That worked. <laughs> yeah, those torches, a little bit of a pain. But that's okay, we managed to be just fine. I'm gonna kill you with a pot, just because it's stylish. Hmm. 
I don't think there's any chests left on- wait, there should be one chest left on this floor, actually. Oh, no, wait, I guess not, so I am right about there being no- none at first. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, this- this little duder here will tell you if there's any chests left here to look for, but if there's nothing, he'll say there's nothing, but if there is some, he'll ask- actually ask you to- to charge you to point out where the locations are. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the switch to switch the block so I can move for- Word. Oh no! What the heck is this? Well, I, the, hmm. What, what should I do here? This is this is quite the conundrum. Unless I use my boomerang. Oh look at that! <laughs> now I can go through here. And no, you no, you're, you're not gonna zap me. No, you are not. Not in your life. And this right here just creates a shortcut. Uh, so this is optional. Ah, mm, I hit the wall. I failed. There we go. Yeah, see this opens this, and that'll allow you to get back over there a little bit quicker. It's not like a checkpoint in the dungeon of sorts, so if you want to save and quit now, you can do so, and then you just turn left when you get into the fire bar room. And uh-oh, it's another one of these inbreded doors. Could this mean? Yep, crap, it's a trap. <laughs> Oh no, fire bubbles! Well, red bubbles, excuse me. Well, they are fire element, but yeah, that the coloration indicates the, the type that they are, and the type they are indicates the color, and then the color indicates their name. And yeah, they're red bubbles. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah! And uh, I don't know. Why I'm trying to grab that. I'm at full health. <laughs> Okay, let's go in, and... Oh no, fire keys! Fire keys! Oh, I just want to sort of kind of just flop that boomerang around there to... Yeah! <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to go this way, and now there should be one treasure chest on the floor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm just going to show you here just this once uh, what it's like if you pay him. And he's going to... No, yeah, he's gonna see it's gonna make a little flashy thing. Go on the map, make a mark, and get out of here. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So, yeah, that's another reason to use your maps. And there we go. I bought the fire keys of doom. And I would like to pull this ahead of time here. And I would like to run over here. And oh, that's a double fire bar. I thought that was only one. <laughs> I jumped the gun here. Oh, that's right, I gotta use the boomerang. For that, so once you kill all the critters, that will give you the chest of a red rupee. Yeah, that was. It basically gave me what I spent on said thing to begin with. Okie dokie, and now I'm gonna pull this, and what will this do? It will open up the doors to that key! And what are we gonna do to get said key since it's attached to a mouse? Well, I'm pretty sure you know. Or do you? Well, oh, 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 fine, I'll go through here. See, uh, over here this time, there is no block to block one side. So what are we supposed to do this time? Well, if we leave the room and just kind of, you know, boomerang it around here. I'm just going to scribble a whole pathway here in the center and just let the mouse get hit by it. Yeah, it's easiest when it's done that way just because it's, it's just going to run right into your boomerang eventually. And then you'll get the key. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Okay, now watch the double fire bar. Okay, we are good. I'm just running into all the fire bars today. It is great. <laughs> so, uh, oh no. Oh no, how do I get through there? Oh, there's a switch. Oh, how convenient. How convenient indeed. And I'm just gonna do that. And hit you like so. And now from here, I'm gonna doodle a path around. And I sh actually should be using the shoulder button, but whatever. Woo! Okay. <laughs> And since I got the key, I can now go upstairs with a said key. This dungeon is going very smoothly. <laughs> and now we're on the last floor. Now over here we've got... Stop that. Stop that. Bad. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> They'd like to jump on you and slow you down, basically. The larger ones will hurt you. Little ones just slow you down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna take a peek see around here. Obviously, there's candles there, but uh, you know, I'm just gonna leave them there for now. Whoa, that's fire bar is speedy. <laughs> Quick as you can, flip the four switches in order. Okay, so you mark one, two, three, four. That's good enough. That looks more like an X than a four, but it's good enough. <laughs> 
Okay, so yes, doodle it on your map. I'm gonna see what's in this corner here. Haha! -ha! It's a heart. And now, 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 I think this is, yeah, this is gonna be blocked until I do the puzzle here. So, are you ready? Let's blow! Wait, what? what? Why am I... That was the right shoulder button. Hold on a sec, what? This shouldn't... Um... I should be able... Oh, there we go. Why? Why? That shouldn't be doing both at the same time. That's weird. I only want one shoulder button active here, but, uh, well... As long as it's working here, I guess I'll... Eh, eh. I don't know, yeah, I don't know why it's... My it's hotkey is tied to the shoulder button when I don't have that shoulder button tied to anything. Hold on a sec, I should probably fix this. Uh, yeah, during this... <laughs> okay, that'll do it. I don't know why the, that button was the same as... Uh, oh, I know why! I had the DS control set for the usual DS controls and this doesn't use the shoulder button otherwise when you have the control set this way with the right-handed configuration. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Mystery solved. Just like this puzzle. Hit the switches in order very quickly. There we go. That's as efficient as I can think of how to hit them. <laughs> And look at that key. We got that key. Nah, nothing is out of our reach now that we have the boomerang. Yes. Alright, so now let's go down through here and touch. Oh yeah. Now I think there's one more chest left on this floor, so this guy is gonna be like, yeah, there's one more somewhere. I think there is. Yeah, but I'm not gonna, because I'll be able to get this actually... Uh, as I go naturally, because I absolutely need it for this thing right here. So, yeah, let's just go in here. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, jeez, this room is, uh, this is a little dangerous. Oh, wait, I yeah, I should be using the shoulder button here. <laughs> yeah, take that. And, yeah, yeah. What, what am I doing here? I should be, I'm panicking too much. <laughs> take that! Okay, I got one side clear now. Now, relax. Relax, and actually hold the button until after I throw the boomerang. Thank you, PK Gam. My timing is clearly off here. <laughs> there we go. That is just fine, though. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. That open both, opens both doors, and we can move on. This is another heart, right? Yeah, because that room's kind of tough. Okay, red bubbles. So we're just gonna scribble around. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh yeah, they're trapped within that area. I forgot. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Oh, whoa, whoa. yeah. The, the weird thing about the boomerang is that it, the, the camera also follows it. Sometimes you miss as a result of that. Oh wait, that's gonna hit the wall. Uh, that's also gonna hit the wall. Dang it! I just want to go carefully. I gotta you get used to doing this again. There we go. I just need to kill off both these red bubbles. And oh no no no! Dang you! Dang you! Well, that worked. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not used to playing a DS on a computer. Obviously. <laughs> that is okay, though. Well, three torches are lit, the path will be revealed. Hmm. Let's turn that on, and uh, our boomerang seems to be made of wood, so uh, maybe, just maybe, we can uh, do a little something with that. Oh, look at that! Amazing! <laughs> And now to get across that pit, we gotta do this little puzzly thing. It isn't really a puzzle, we've done this two times already. <laughs> Actually, more than that. And I'm gonna see what's in here. I'm gonna do a little roundabout here so I don't get hit though. It's a heart. It's a heart. It's a delightful little heart. I don't know why I'm singing, but it's a heart. There's more, some more hearts. I probably shouldn't have done that because I could have gotten. Oh, the boss key! It's... What a huge heavy key! What is this craziness? It usually goes straight into my pocket. So, yeah, basically it makes you a lot slower while you're carrying it, and thus the uh, trip back is a little trickier than you might have expected. <laughs> but it is entirely doable, as long as you stay towards the inside of the fire bar, because that's your fastest point through said fire bar area. And thus, take it over here, tap it, and it goes in automatically! Woo! Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it for the dungeon. <laughs>
Yep, that's simple. That's simple. Using our noodle to get through it. We got some hearts too. That's us here. This is Temple Texas Steer to power. Hmm. Whoa! Step into the blue light to return to the temple entrance. So yeah, basically, I'll be able to show you this in the minutes or so, but uh, yeah, if you want to go to the temple entrance, there's a shortcut. But there's another one upcoming, so I'm not going to show you that one. I'll show you the later on. I can feel an evil presence linger at the top of the stairs. Be careful. Okay, Link. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Ominous. Oh, of course, a door embedded in the ground. What could this be? Oh, of course, it's a trap. <laughs> Blaze the Master Fires this boss! And he splits in two, three. What, 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 what do we do about this? Well, what we're supposed to do is join them. But how do we join them? Well, we gotta use the boomerang. But watch this. If I, if I do it wrong, he will not join. So what, what am I supposed to do here? Well, what, I'm, what I should be doing is watching the order that they put the flames above their head. And that is the cue, I should say the order, that they are, yep, that they form Blaze. <laughs> You gotta have pretty quick eyes to watch this though, so uh, be on the lookout for said flames by ha oh by uh, having all of your eyes across I mean your eyes across the entire screen at once. Oh, you split, you stinker! Okay, I'm gonna sit in the center here, just waiting for you to do your thing. Okay, that one. Okay, it's this one, then this one, then this one. One, two, three, and if you do, wait, wow, wow, that that was the correct order. What? I thought that that. Hmm, hold on a sec, what is it? Hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Is that not the correct cue? I, maybe I forgot the actual cue. <laughs> hmm, maybe I did forget the actual cue. Is there some cue in your body language that'll tell me what to do? Because I'm pretty sure it was based on the order that you uh, pop the flames out. Hmm, 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 hold on a sec, I just want to be sure. Sorry for that pause, but uh, I forgot. Look on the top screen. Yeah, look at the number of horns. That's the actual key. It wasn't the order of the flames. I was, yeah, I was watching too much on the bottom screen. When both screens work in tandem. How could I have forgotten it? That's stupid of me. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Everything is all right. So yeah, just look for the horns. And thus, I actually got very lucky the first time. Not actually... I mean, by getting it the first time, because there's uh, six combinations, I believe, that they can be uh, put together in. So yeah, had I won the sixth chance of getting it, then I actually managed to get it. Oops. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Well, I won. It's an easy boss, really. But, you know, it's the game's first boss, so don't worry about it too much. <laughs> Yeah, I want to check my notes, and I, I said, oh, yeah, it's the top screen, well, not the bottom screen. Why am I being stupid? <laughs> oh, well. What is this? It turned to sand. That's weird. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Shiny, bright, beautiful. Ooh. What is this? Is this the spirit of power? It's very purple. It's it's something. Oh, or is it? Oh, oh, oh! It's turning red. Now that looks more like a spirit of power because power is always red in the Zelda games for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. Are you the spirit of power? I am Leaf, Spirit of Power. Okay, thank you for answering my question. I serve the Ocean King. I owe you thanks for defeating that evil wizard. You broke the sea, so now I'm free. Look, Link, it's Spirit of Power, Leaf! Uh, it just said that. Forget it, forget it. This must be all, this must all be what Asher was talking about. No, she's a fraud. <laughs> Please help us, we need your strength. I was locked away with the Oshi King years ago, but now I can't feel the Oshi King's presence. I wonder what happened to him. If I come with you, maybe I can find out. If you need it, I will gladly lend you a hand. Okay, well... Uh, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah! The Spirit of Power has joined your glo gloop group! Okay, I'll go tell Astrid. But first, I'm not leaving here without a prize. Oh, look at that, a prize. 
Okay, so uh, in this game, there are no heart pieces. There are only heart containers. Yep. But there are other things to collect besides heart pieces in this game, so... Yes, <laughs> let's just put it that way. By the way, the pots around the arena, as you probably would guess, yeah, they're hearts. So you might want to leave them during the battle if you need them, but obviously I didn't didn't really need them. <laughs> anyway, let's leave here through the blue light that I was talking about that I said that I would show you later, because it takes you to the temple entrance. Oh yeah. The volcano will stop erupting, Link! Sweet. I bet it's because you defeat all the monsters, Link. Come on, let's tell Astrid. Okay, so the quickest way back is, of course, down. <laughs> right down through here. And thus... Wait, 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 wait. Took a long, wrong turn there for a sec. <laughs> Astrid, we finished the dungeon already. Hey, kids, you able to defeat all the monsters? Well, Astrid is waiting. Well done. You defeated the power of darkness, Link. Thus, you've broken the seal and imprisoned the spirit you need to move ahead. Ultimately, you will need three spirits. Power, wisdom, and courage. Those three sound familiar. When you have all three, you'll possess the power to find the ghost ship. Woohoo! Now, two spirits remain, but their locations are veiled to me at present. I see another clue for you to find in the Temple of the Ocean King on Merkay. At the further your efforts, I'll give you this. May it help you in battle. <laughs> it's a spirit gem. There are many for each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see that. Somewhere on the seas, you can raise a spirit's power for ten gems. So yeah, the spirit gems are basically this game's heart pieces in terms of collectibles. Um, so yeah, it's much... I, I shouldn't say it's much different from the usual Zelda games, but basically those are used to upgrade certain things instead of your health besides that. But, so they're still collectibles... But different. <laughs> the light you seek, uh, the light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. You ac actually did it. Now we're even closer to getting rich. I, I, uh, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Always got treasure on the mind. Oh, he's so self-centered. Well, I sense that man will prove to be an asset and not an anchor in time. Hope you're right. Okay, let's quickly set sail back to Mercury Island, Link. Alrighty, let's see first. There's a clue about the next spirit of the Temple of the Oshikiyo Marke. But the lake seeking your help is growing faintly, sir. Okay, that's basically a repeat. Alright, with the dungeon beats and our next path revealed, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Heck yeah, baby!